aside from the obvious. Practical. What to do? You should leave it, or even destroy it if possible. I do. Thank you for understanding. It feels like we packed three days into one today. I'm exhausted. Could be the tadpoles doing, or not. We'll just have to wait and see. Let's just get some rest. It, but I'm glad to have some company on this journey. You frown in your sleep. There must be so much on your mind. Her fingers are warm against your cheek. Softer than expected. You think that you're sick. That you're dying. Are you afraid? Is that so? Perhaps you prefer a different kind of touch. Come now, I'll make you feel better. Let yourself go, lean back. Why are you fighting me? I'm here to help you. The urge for violence lingers. You could push her again. You could cause so much pain. Well, if you want to wait, I'll wait. But I do have a parting gift. I feel much better than I did yesterday. Amazing what a night's sleep can do, isn't it? Not even just that. I awoke with new... I don't know... powers. It was the same for you, wasn't it? The good health. The power. The dreams. It's all right. You can trust me. Tell me what you saw. What you felt. So did I. What were they like, whoever came to you in the dream? Huh. At least you have good taste. I dreamt of someone I am very attracted to. And no, it wasn't you. There was a promise of power. I had exactly the same dream when aboard the Mind Flayer ship. Don't you think that's suspicious? I'm glad we're of the same mind. If this happens again, let me know. We can't take anything for granted, especially when it's to do with what's going on up here. I wasn't expecting it, but I'm glad to have some company on this journey. Fine. What's on your mind? I must admit, you've been a surprise. And besides, you saved my life aboard the Nautiloid. You're always a pleasure to watch. Every day you become stronger. Every night you grow. But you deserve even more. Her fingers flex against her thigh, coiled with tension, longing. Let me help you. Mm -hmm. 
such an iron will. But you'll be ready soon enough. I'll give you a taste of what's to come. Your enemies will fall. The world will bow. You'll have everything you could ever desire. to you again, didn't it? Another dream. It was the same for me. I led an army, spilled a world full of blood, all for his embrace. I still feel the warmth of his touch and the screams of those I slaughtered for him. Did you want it? What you saw? Me too. Whoever's doing this knows me well. They're the same. Blood and love are just different forms of power. I couldn't help but eavesdrop on you. It seems we've all had interesting dreams. Since we started using our condition to influence others, I've been hearing things at night, and now these dreams, they have to be connected. Perhaps it's time we stopped indulging in the more useful aspects of these parasites. I, I said they were connected. I didn't say we should stop. Let's not throw away that power over some dreams. Agreed. These dreams are getting more vivid. We need to do what we can to resist them. Shadowheart's attention is fixed on a damaged old statue. We... we should keep moving. Nothing. The trick of the light. But something tells me there might be a solution to some of our problems hiding in this wilderness. There's signs there was a conflict around here, some time ago, and different to what we've seen so far. Conflict needs opposing sides. Whoever they were, they must have had resources. A little investigating could turn up something of interest. Let's go. You're not going to let this go, are you? I worship Shah, the mistress of the night. The destruction of this Saluna statue looks like the handiwork of my brothers and sisters. Now that you have the truth, please don't make a big fuss about it. You worship Shah? Blimey. She and my beloved Mistra are not exactly friends. I... Yes, she must. I'll offer thanks to her in my prayers. And we should speak more later. Alone, ideally. Of 
course I am. But we can talk about this later. Let's go. Encounter in the night. The very same. It obviously put me off your neck, but now I can't help but wonder how the others taste. And not that anyone's volunteered. It's just an idle fancy. No, that's the thing. I can't quite figure them out. Take Gale, for example. He strikes me as someone whose blood is rich, refined like well-aged brandy. But Shadowheart, I have no idea. How do you think our little enigma would taste? Oh, well, that sounds very appealing. I'm almost convinced. <laughs> no one's getting killed, I swear. We're just two friends talking. So, in the spirit of theoretical questions, if you had to take a bite from one of them, who would it be? A fine choice. She is enticing. Although, the more I think on it, the hungrier I get. I better go find something I can actually get my teeth into. <sighs> There's nothing that tasty lurking out in the woods, but I'll make do. Uh, sweet dreams. Blessings upon you. Mine and yours both. What about it? What? Shah's tenet? If you like. Most fear the dark, like children, because in darkness they see their fears reflected. But Shah teaches us to step beyond fear, beyond loss. In darkness, we do not hide. We act. Pain. Hope. The promise of better days. All of these are heavy cloaks that bend our backs and burden our hearts. We shed those cloaks. Before Shah, we stand gloriously naked, beyond the vanities of mortals. Very well. Blessed Night Singer, witness our adoration. See how we serve you, only you. We have emptied our hearts of falsehoods. We have vanquished your foes. In the darkness, we see your truth. Embrace us, your loyal warriors. Cloak us in your shadow. Guide us to your victory. Shah's will shall be done, as sure as night will fall. Yes, I am honored with her blessing. You know that well enough yourself. But, as you say, you wish to be humid. We tear down the lies the world is drunk on. The institutions they trust, the so-called gods they worship, the lives they cling to. We destroy false idols, topple corrupt organizations, fight heretics wherever they're found. There's often suffering, death even. Many people break before they embrace Shah's truths. Secrets? What more can you ask? She took me in when no one else would. Without her, I wouldn't be alive. She's my mother. She nurtures me, cares for me, loves me. But you know all this, of course. Only a pity that more don't reject the Salunite's lies. What? Besides my life's calling and the greatest problem I've ever faced? Well, I like night orchids and can't swim. Is that the sort of thing you meant? Is 
It's a deal. No. I can't. I mean, I literally can't. There's certain things I can't remember right now. You're the same as me. You know how important Shah's secrets are. I have had certain memories suppressed, voluntarily, so that I can serve Shah without compromising her. If I manage to return to Baldur's Gate and fulfill Shah's mission, then my memories will be restored. I do as Shah asks of me. You would have done the same, I'm sure. That is not for you to know. Leave it at that. I... I don't know. Something to do with the tadpole, who's to say? Another mystery to add to the pile. Very. It wanted to lash out at you. Luckily, I was there to stop it and save your life. Anything else? Irresistible. Every word is drenched with a power and authority that you do not understand, but cannot deny. Your vision clouds, leaving you in a dark, featureless shadowscape. Nothingness in every direction. Then, there are three figures before you. An armored male elf, exuding power and command. A handsome younger man with a quick, easy smile. And a pale young woman with even paler eyes. These are my chosen. They speak for me. You feel energy pulsing from the artifact, lifting the pain from you, pushing the voice away. My power grows, my forces gather, the reckoning draws me. Give me that look. I don't know what just happened any more than you do. We should keep going. I don't know what that toy of hers is, but I'm glad it's on our side. Trust me, I will. Let's keep going. I feel... I feel... What the... Darkness, protect me. No! I'm fine. Forget it. the understatement, but yes, I have it, and I'll guard it with my life. Then so be it. I did my duty. As for the artifact, it's powerful, and has a mind of its own sometimes. You'd better hope you're up to bearing it.
Don't forget what it was like when you heard the voice. It'll only get worse if you don't have the artifact to protect you. I was part of a group sent by my cloister. We were to take the artifact from the Githyanki and bring it to Baldur's Gate, no matter the cost. Though it turned out the cost was very steep. I was the only one of the group to survive. I took the artifact and fled, only to be ensnared by mind flayers before I could finish the mission. That's all I know. That's all I need to know. How cynical. I should borrow that line sometime. But if I have to die, so be it. Like I said, faith. If you must. I don't really have anything more to say. We don't know how this works, not really. Maybe it varies a little, person to person. Don't worry. It won't matter once we find a cure. And if we don't find one, well, we'll be past our worries then. Lady of Sorrows guide us. Did you want something? <laughs> I made an impression then. Time will tell, I suppose. I think it looks promising, though. Did I? Don't worry. I was probably just too busy drinking in the sight of you. Fine. What's on your mind? I suppose some would commend our actions. Goblins would have raised that whole place to nothing if it weren't for us. No excuse to rest on our laurels, though. We've still got our own problems to contend with. Don't worry. I think I must have been misjudging you. I can't even remember what it was that made me say that. Seems to be in high spirits. Strange. You know who I never thought I'd find myself caring for? Exactly right. Never gave them much thought. Certainly not that bunch in the grove. And yet we came through for them. We saved their lives. Odd. Something like that. I was taught to reject anything that distracted from Shah. But there'll be time for penance later. Share a bottle with me? We should wait a little while. Until the others have drifted off. Best not keep me waiting. I'd prefer not to entertain myself. ...of celebration quiets to a soothing hum as you approach your bunk. Though you seek repose, you needn't spend the night alone. With whom will you share a bed? Your heart skips a beat. What treasures might this night bestow? You made it. Come here. Sit with me. So eager. I'm surprised it took you this long. Well, to begin, 
I think a toast is in order. Any bold? What does us entail? I suppose I'll find out. To us. Now tell me something about yourself. And no tadpoles, dragons, marauding goblins, or anything like that. Something about you. Seems like you truly know the city. I never got to explore it to my liking. Don't stop now. Not just as things are getting interesting. laugh, but I'm not quite sure I have anything to share. When you worship Shard, secrecy is everything. We'll sacrifice our own memories when ordered to. A lot of the little things, they're lost to me right now. Hmm. <laughs> I did. And you remembered. You're sweet. There's still plenty of wine, and the whole night is ahead of us. Nearly light. The others will be awake soon. You're sweet to notice. Thank you for last night. Me too. She trails off. You read an invitation in her eyes. didn't hurt, did it? Good to know. For the future. Let's head back. If we must. <laughs> 